It was a beautiful morning in Calgary, and we thought to ourselves, enough sitting behind this computer screen. Let's jump in the Jeep and go cruise around Crescent Heights. It was, after all, our own community. Let's tour some homes, talk about the area, and see what happens. So, let's get rolling. The first area of Crescent Heights to have homes was along here. This is called Crescent Road. This stunning piece of real estate overlooks the Bow River and the downtown skyline. This coveted section of Crescent Heights would have been equally desirable back when the first homes were built here. Crescent Heights sits atop the McHugh Bluff, so named after Felix McHugh, the entrepreneur who homesteaded the area in the 1880s. The boundaries of Crescent Heights extend north at 16th Ave to the west at 4th Street, east at Edmonton Trail, and south at Memorial Drive. Politician turned developer Archibald J. MacArthur acquired and incorporated the land into the city of Calgary in 1909. It was originally its own village. Who knew? Uh, in the 1920s, Crescent Heights went through a real estate boom and numerous homes were built and a few are still standing today. Crescent Heights also has its share of green spaces and amenities. The popular dog park and overlook to downtown, the Mount Pleasant Tennis Club and Lawn Bowling Club, the McHugh Bluff and the 167-step staircase that is popular with the fitness crowd. The neighborhood is also home to Crescent Heights High School. It's just on our left over here. It's seen a share of notable alumni over the years, including Calgary Mayor and Alberta Premier Ralph Klein and Juno Award-winning musical duo Tegan and Sarah. Well, the drive was nice, but it was time to look at a couple of homes. So, let's kick it off with this recently rented home priced in the upper 800s. This home, originally built in the 1920s, was gutted down to the studs. The open floor plan welcomes you to 1,500 square feet above grade and an additional 600 plus square feet of fully developed basement. This four bedroom, three and a half bath home has beautiful attention to detail illustrates a little of what is currently going on in Crescent Heights. Older homes are being renovated and modernized. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. And the primary suite with a glass shower, beautiful tile work, and double sinks completes this cozy room. Downstairs, the wet bar is the centerpiece of this room. And there is also an additional bedroom, four-piece bathroom, and laundry area. We hope you enjoyed this home tour. Now, it's time to head to the eastern edge of Crescent Heights and see what Renee will be touring. While the first home we saw was circa 1920s, this custom home was built a full century later in 2019. Entering the house, you are welcomed by soaring 10-foot ceilings, wide plank LVP flooring, a custom kitchen with double thick quartz counters, and a spacious living room perfect for family time. On the second floor, you'll find the primary bedroom with a beautiful ensuite complete with soaker tub and steam shower. As well as two additional bedrooms and a full bathroom. The third level offers a bonus room with wet bar and a fourth bedroom and a full bath. The low-maintenance south-facing yard is perfect for get-togethers. 
It's also worth mentioning this house features a two-bedroom legal suite in the basement with a separate entrance. It's ideal for guests or extra income as a rental. We're getting a lot of requests for homes with this these days. Well, it's been a fun day touring Crescent Heights, but it's lunchtime and we are hungry. So interestingly, Crescent Heights was actually voted number three Calgary's best communities to live in 2020 uh, by Ebony Magazine. Did you know that? I did not know that. I, I, had to, uh, I had to do a little research on that one. So yeah, I, I guess there's a reason why we live in Crescent Heights. I, I think so. <laughs> Top three is pretty good. But you know, it's like the reason I think we chose this neighborhood is because it's, you know, a mature neighborhood. There's lots of avenues with, you know, big trees that kind of hang over. Like and this right here. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's still a neighborhood in transition. There's still a lot of older it homes. Is. It was one of Calgary's first communities. So some of the homes are still really old, like 1920s. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you have, you know, brand new homes that are 2020. So you really have this mix of homes, which I find really interesting. Yeah, for and sure. I mean, it's kind of classic inner city, you know, a little bit of uh, redevelopment going on and uh, that, that blend of uh, new and modern with, with uh, some of the original housing, so. Yeah, yeah. What I like about this particular neighborhood too is because uh, it borders the river, it borders 16th Ave, so easy access in and out For of town. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, Edmonton Trail to get into downtown, Center Street to get into downtown. You know, you've got these great parks, uh, dog parks. Like this one right over here. Absolutely. Uh, you know, views of downtown. Um, views are spectacular from <laughs> they're here. Beautiful. So, I don't know, this community has a lot going for it, for sure. And it's a pretty big community, too, actually. It spans, like, yeah. geographically, the borders are quite large. Yeah, I mean, talking about that accessibility, I mean, if you're in your car, I mean, you're downtown in a matter of Minutes. seconds to minute. Yeah. And even, like, walking, I mean, you can walk downtown, just down the bluff here, right into downtown. and in just a matter of minutes so it's wow, uh, walking you've got the stairs there if you really want some extra stairs are there you can do a few laps with the stairs Absolutely. for sure so yeah there's there's uh, there's a lot of things going for this area that's for sure all right so the best way to end in Crescent Heights is probably at Peter's drive-in arguably one of the iconic eating establishments of the neighborhood. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, they're known for their milkshakes. That's thick. They're really thick. <laughs> cool. I don't know what else to say. I, I think, think that's it. I think that we wraps just it wrap up. it up. Absolutely. Let's Have go eat. If Crescent Heights looks like the place for you, or you're curious about other communities in Calgary, give us a call, text us, or jump on social media and DM us from there. See you in the next video.